Another spring football practice is in the books, now joined by Coach Moorhead. First off, Coach, your guys are flying around out there. A lot's been made of the energy, but you guys are jumping up and down like crazy out there. But we're just trying to have some fun out here. You know, it's been something that I think they lacked a little bit last year. And, and guys, I think when you're playing loose and you're playing fast, that, that's the easiest way to make plays. And I'm trying to get them just excited about being out here and playing football this spring. How about for you? What's the gauge in the first week, second week? What are you trying to learn? Uh, I think everyone just trying to get this offense down, make sure we're all on the same page. But I'm just trying to see how these guys respond to different situations. And certain guys respond differently. And I'm just trying to see who our playmakers are going to be. And right now, over the first four days, we're starting to establish that. But, you know, we got a long spring left, and we're expecting the guys, you know, from the bottom to pick it up and the guys at the top to keep pushing. This is certainly early, but we saw Kevin Asante make one heck of a catch out there today. Dimitri Knowles with some speed. How about those two guys? Both of those guys are doing well. They're working hard. They're in their playbooks, and that's really what I've been asking them. Get the plays down. Play fast. I, I really was getting after Kevin about just stopping thinking and just playing, and uh, he did a good job of that today. He ran some good routes, made some good catches, and he bounced back and from, from a little kind of lull he had early in practice and made a huge play at the end, and that's what you need to see out of the guy because sometimes in the game, Something in the second quarter happens, and we need you to bounce back in the third and fourth quarter and make plays. You can't let one thing affect another, and it was good to see him do that. How about an early read on someone like DJ Coles and how he's doing coming back from what he's been dealing with? Uh, DJ's doing a good job. Leader of our group, you know, he demands his stuff out of these guys, and as DJ gets himself back into shape, he can do more and more things for us. We're using him in a lot of different situations and trying to get him the ball. You know, he's a guy that we need to count on. Logan needs to count on him, and he's a guy that when you look back at this year, hopefully he's the guy in the fourth quarter that we're giving the ball to. Last question for you as we wrap up a rather cold evening here in Blacksburg. You wearing shorts. It's all right. You're from Chicago. Uh, but for you personally, taking over a position for the first time that is your own on a staff, how has this first two weeks of practice been for you personally? It's been fun. You know, these guys are a great group to work with. And I uh, really appreciate the work they've put in. I've been demanding of them. I've been working them really hard, and they haven't even blinked. They've, they've come out here. They've worked their butts off. Everything they're doing, if they're running three, four, five routes in a row, that's all right. They get out, and I'll put them right back in, and, and they don't say anything. And that's what you want. And they, these guys are all here competing every single day, every single practice. They all want playing time. You know what? In the end of the day, I'm trying to give it to as many guys as, as, as I can. But, um, you know, they're all fighting for it, and that's what I want. I'm a competitive guy, probably one of the most competitive guys you'll ever meet, and I want that my group to, to be the same way. Well, I say we have energy on the practice field and in the interviews. Thanks so much for your time. Absolutely. Thank you.